Okay, let's get straight to the point. Y'all came here because you want to know where to see the lava inside Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. This is basically a know before you go and how to prepare yourself when viewing the lava. Now, if you are pregnant, have heart problems, or asthma issues, it is not advisable to hike out to see the lava. To get to the lava viewing area, you're going to have to turn left immediately after the entrance on Crater Rim Drive, drive 3.2 miles, which is about 5 kilometers, until the road ends. Once you're at the end of the road, which is the intersection of Crater Rim Drive and Chain of Craters Road, you're going to turn right into the parking lot of the Devastation Trail. Your hike to the eruption viewing area will start here. Now, before you embark on your journey to go see the lava, here are a few things that you will need to know before you go, as well as some things that you will need to make viewing the lava a pleasure. The hike from the parking lot to the viewing area is about 1.25 miles or about 2 kilometers. Most of the walk is over pavement, which is the remnant of Crater Rim Drive. The last 300 meters is actually walking on lava gravel. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is make sure you have either a nice pair of hiking boots or regular tennis shoes will be just fine. However, do not bring sandals nor high heels. Next, you will need to bring some rain gear. Either a poncho or an umbrella would be just fine because the weather out here constantly changes. You can come out when it's completely clear, maybe a half an hour later, it'll start to rain. I've seen it, been there, done that. Next, you will need some sunscreen, especially if you're going to be staying out there for more than a few hours. Also, make sure you bring enough water. Two liters of water is sufficient depending on how long you're going to be out there. If you plan to view the eruption after sunset, Make sure that you bring a working flashlight as well as extra batteries. Don't forget to bring a light sweater or light jacket because sometimes it can get quite chilly at the summit of Kilauea, especially in the wintertime. And lastly, make sure you bring some food or some snacks, your camera, your tripod, and a small backpack to fit everything in. Now the hike to the eruption viewing area from the parking lot is 1.25 miles or just a little over 2 kilometers. So it's a relatively easy hike for anybody to do. Now the first half of the hike is through the rainforest, like you see here. At the halfway point, it's going to turn into more desert-like conditions with shrubs. Now we're towards the end here. The trail is going to veer off to the right, and it's going to be lined by cones all the way to the eruption site. And it's about 300 meters from the road to the viewing area. Once you arrive at the designated eruption viewing area, you'll get a spectacular view of the eruption activity, the lava lake, as well as Kilauea Caldera and Hale Mau Mau Crater. It is also illegal to go beyond the barriers. Now this is footage I shot in October of 2021 from the legal viewing area. And I shot this footage with a 2000 millimeter to 3000 millimeter zoom lens. Now there are certain times throughout the day that it's impossible to get a parking space at the beginning of the trail. If you want to visit the eruption during the day, the best time to go where you can avoid the majority of the traffic and also have a parking space is between 11 o'clock in the morning and two o'clock in the afternoon. Now, if you're a photographer and you want to capture the golden hour, which is usually one hour before sunrise or one hour after sunset, you will need to be in the parking lot in the beginning of the trail before four o'clock in the morning because after that time, the parking spaces start filling up very fast. Now, if you want to capture the golden hour after sunset, your best bet is to get there before two o'clock in the afternoon because after that time frame between two o'clock and 10 o'clock at night, that parking lot is going to be constantly full. You may or may not get a parking spot. So your best bet is just to stay out there early and just stay out there all day until sunset. Now, if you want to go out at nighttime to see the lava, the best time to go is after 10 o'clock at night. Anytime after that time is fine. There are hardly any people out there. There may be about anywhere from six to 10 people at the most. But for the most part, most of the uh, visitors have left after that time. I like the nighttime the best because you get to see the entire lava lake and everything what's going on. Whereas during the day, sometimes it's very hard to see anything, especially when the sun is out. Well, that wraps it up. 